What's up motion designers, I'm Adam from MrHorse.tv. In this tutorial we will be playing with the new updated shape transition spec and the background spec for Animation Composer. So let's dig into it. As first let's take a look at what's inside those two packs. As first I'll check the backgrounds. These are the new ones, except this one. This was in the previous version. So for example, these are the brushes. Here are some nice flat dots. And everything is customizable. You can change the colors. You can also open the precomps and edit everything. So you can customize it the way you need it. And here are some multicolor gradients. These are really cool because you can blend them with pretty much anything and it looks cool instantly. Now let's take a look at the shape transitions. This one was in the previous version and these are the new ones. So for example these nice flat dots are very nice or these grids are new. And again you can customize the colors. This one is really cool because you can choose from which direction you want to animate this. So for example from the right or from the top. The main reason why I'm making one tutorial for both packs is because these two packs work really well together and you can create some really nice stuff if you combine those packs. So let's create something from the scratch. I'll speed up this part because it's not really important and here we go. So here we have a really simple composition with two layers and let's add some background. I'll open the grid view for the backgrounds and add some simple dots background. In here I can change the duration so I will set it to 10 seconds and press add. The background has been added and I will move it below the last layer. Then I will press the left bracket having the layer selected to move it forward. So if I preview it you can see there is a background and let's add another one. I will again open the backgrounds and let's now add something a little more complicated. I will move it up and here we go. Now let's add a transition. I will go to shape transitions and I will add a dot transition. I like this one so I will add it and you can see it was added right to the cut. So the first thing I can do of course is to preview it. And you can see we already made something what's, what's quite nice. Now let's change the colors. Having this letter selected I can go here and select a color preset or another one. And I can also change the colors individually. So the first color will be now brighter. I'll put it back, maybe a little more purple. Yeah, that looks weird. I think I'll just stick to the original palette. And I can do the same thing with the previous, whoops, previous background and choose the green one, uh, the, the blue one, sorry. And also, well, I think I like this. Yeah. Now let's combine it with another background. And here's a cool thing. I can go to the multicolor gradients, choose this one for example, put it to the top and move it to the beginning and I can change the blend modes. And this is really cool. Blend modes are here. If you cannot see this part you can click this little button and it will show up. So blend modes enables you to blend these layers together. If you select for example darken you can see how it blends. And the cool part is that you can hold the shift and press plus or minus to switch between different blend modes and this way you can quickly find some new interesting stuff. I will preview this and I can also change the colors of the gradient. So for example I can change it to green and you can see how different it looks again. And I can edit the content of the compositions. For example, if I go in here to this composition, I can select the controller layer. Not all the compositions have this controller. Each is different, but this one has it. For example, you can change the random seed. Or 
or amount of the dots. So let's now do it all over again from the beginning and build something else from the scratch very quickly. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go again to the backgrounds and choose these nice rectangles. I can again choose from which side I want it to animate and I like it from the left. I will just animate it and you know what this is okay. 10 seconds is enough. I'll wait until it will generate and here I am. So let's see what we have here. This is the transition and it animates from the beginning of the layer until this in marker. So, so I'll just move this background to the bottom and move the second text layer in here. So this is what we got. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take this layer, cut it, and put it inside this composition and paste it. Make it longer. And I'll mask this text layer to this big rectangle. And I'll do it by an effect called set matte. So I'll apply it to this text layer. Move it here. And in this set meta effect, I will choose to the big shape. And now if I scroll, I can see that it's masked. So now when I go to this composition and I preview it again, I can see how nicely this is masking the text layer. Great. Now let's quickly add another background and a transition. So I'll move this layer here and go to backgrounds again to these rectangles and I'll choose this, choose this one from the top. And I don't actually need to animate it in. Yeah, here I go. I don't see the marker, the in marker in here right now because I didn't edit with the in transition. So this is how it looks. Now let's add the transition. I'll go here, go to shape transitions, open this up, and let's use this one. And from the left is really good. Zoom out a little and move this transition to the top. I have speeded up the rendering a little bit so we can see it quickly. And this is what we got. And I can of course change the colors again. So if I go here and choose, for example, this color, it turns out looking differently. The rendering takes a while, so I have speeded it up a little, and this is what we got. And that's it. So you can see you can create different things really quickly. And again, I can add the multicolor gradients Let's just add the first one, add it to the beginning, and now I'll hold shift and press plus. So there you have it, another result with a very little effort. And that's it for today, I hope you liked this tutorial. These specs are available at mrhorse.tv. 